Okay, so yeah, we will jump right into the discussion. Uh, kasi I want to li- leave a little bit of time sa dulo for questions then and stuff like that. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how to multiply by 5. Okay, now again, this is a, a speed math technique. I am not saying that, okay, para mas better dapat yung speed math techniques kaysa sa traditional na pagsusolve ng problems. It's really not like that. But what I want to encourage you to do would be to find a method that works best for you. Okay? So itong speed math technique na to, I just share this with people kasi a little bit like a party trick nga sa totoo lang. Um, just to have fun. And for them to start believing na, okay, hindi pala ako mahina sa math. Hindi pala ako um, weak pagdating dito sa math. Kasi kaya ko siyang i-figure out. Okay? So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Alright? Ready na? So, how to multiply by 5. Now, uh, bit of a, again, bit of a party trick, but bear with me. Usually, I always start out ng ganito. So, how fast can you solve this? Now, bakit how fast? Bakit siya importante pagdating sa math? Kasi, sa maraming exams uh, and quizzes, Laging may time limit, di ba? Laging may, laging may tanong kung, okay, gaano ko ba kabilis ito masusolve? Kasi uh, limited yung time sa exam, limited, limited time yung binibigay ta sa atin sa quiz. So, may, mayroon din talagang aspeto ng, ng speed pagdating sa math. Of course, in an ideal world, ayaw natin ng ganun, di ba? Everyone can, can study sa kailang pace. Pero ang realidad, again, realidad is that it's it's hard. It's hard na i-enforce yun. So, many times, we feel na, ah, mahina ako sa sa math. Mahina ako kasi, ano ko, kasi pinanganak akong mabagal. Pero hindi naman ganun. Minsan may mga tricks lang. Okay? So, uh, let's start out with this. Yan. So, we have 7 to 8 times 5. So, how fast can you solve this? Now, a lot of people would start solving na isusulat nila. But the thing is, for me, it's really easy. It's just 3, 6, 4, 0. Okay? And when I was younger, I used to challenge my my friends or my classmates na, okay, pabilisan tayo. I will hand them a calculator. So, may calculator sila sa kamay. Tapos, we have another friend na mag-list na random number sa board. Okay? Tapos, unahan kami. And uh, yung time that it takes my one friend to type the question sa kanilang calculator by the time na na-type nila yung tanong, okay, tapos na ako dun sa sagot. Kasi I was already writing down yung, yung sagot. So this is, again, a bit of a party trick, but it's really going to be very helpful kapag kayo ay mag exam na. Yeah, so, um, game. Paano to mangyayari? Now, let me show you, if you solved using the traditional method, ang gagawin nyo usually is, yan, okay, so you're going to have to write yung numbers. So, 7 to 8, i-re-re-right mo siya, patayo. 7 to 8 times 5, right? Tapos, i-over mo, ganyan, tapos, isosolve mo ng isa-isa. So, 8 times 5, so, you're going to go 8 times 5 is 40. So, lagpas siya ng 10, so, magkikerry ka agad. So, 0, tapos, alagay mo dito yung 4. Tapos, you're going to go 2 times 5 is 10, Plus 4 is 14. So, ilalagay ko dito yung 4. Iakit ko ulit yung 1. Tapos, 7 times 5 is 35. Plus 1, you have 36. So, yung 3640 mo, bago ka makarating dyan, it's going to take you a lot of time. Okay, so go. 7 to 8 times 5, 3640. All you need to do is to rethink things. So, be a little bit, a little bit creative. Okay? I'll show you what I do. So, 7 to 8 times 5, instead of i rewrite mo lahat, we're going to rethink things. We're going to manipulate numbers, um, play around with it, para makakam up tayo sa easier na option. Now, here's the thing. Um, a bit of a, an, an anecdote. I actually discovered or parang found out about this technique nung ako ay nasa grade 3. Um, yeah, kasi nung, nung bata ako, I'm usually the kid na tinatamad um, sa, sa school. Medyo, ano ba, 
understimulated ako sa klase. So, medyo makulit ako nung grade school ako. Makulit pero mabait pa rin, ha? Ibig sabihin, kapag nagigets ko na kasi sinasabi ng teacher or I find it uninteresting, nagdo-doze off ako or nakawala. Nag, nag, lumilipad yung, yung utak ko. So, um, I would I would come up with other things. I would try to draw. Um, gagawa ko na ibang bagay. Yun yung ginagawa ko. Tapos, nung nag kami, um, actually, we were already multiplying two-digit numbers there. Parang recap lang ng teacher. Tapos, naisip ko, wait lang, parang may nakikita akong pattern when it comes to multiplying numbers by five. Okay? So, what I what I did was this. I would divide the number by two and then multiply it by ten. Someone is writing in the comments sa, sa TikTok na, Ang ginagawa naman nila is multiplying by 10, tapos din divide nila sa 2. So again, that could also work. Sa akin lang, mas akin personally, ha, mas madali yung dividing by 2, tapos multiplying by 10. Kasi kapag nag-multiply ka by 10, lalagyan mo lang, i-move mo lang yung decimal place na isang beses. Eh. Okay? Parang yung demonstrate ni Robbie kahapon uh, sa, sa, sa math dali. Gagalaw mo lang yung decimal place na isang beses. So let me let me show you what I do. Okay? So again, hindi na kailangan i-rewrite. Okay, so one of the things na nagpapabilis kapag nag exam ka. So, hindi mo na yung kailangang, kailangang isulat lahat. Ang gagawin mo na lang would be to look at this. Okay, itong part na to. 7 to 8. Okay, yung 7 to 8, i-divide ko siya sa 2. Okay, now again, hindi yun na kailangan isulat yan kasi uh, pwede mo na siyang tingnan na lang. And the more you practice this, the faster you'll get. Okay. So, I will go 7 divided by 2 is 3. Okay. Tapos, dahil may odd number yan, may remainder na isa, kasi yung 6 lang ang sagot, di ba? So, 7 divided by 2 is 3, remainder 1. Yung 1 na yun, i-carry over ko lang sa 12. Sa 2, magiging 12 ito, bale. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Tapos, o, oh, tapos ka na sa 7, tsaka sa 2. Sa, four na, sa 8 naman. Yung 8 divided by 2 is 4. Tapos again, times 10. Wala namang ng remainder, so lalagyan ko lang siya ng zero. So again, it's the same answer. Okay? So yun yung sinasabi natin. Again, when it comes to math, you can be a little bit creative then. Okay? You can think, think now, okay, there's another way, an easier way, a faster way to solve this. What can I do? Okay? So um, we will break it down. Don't worry, kasi kung medyo naiwan tayo ng kaunti doon sa sinabi ko, isa-isahin natin yan. And I'll give you exercises along the way. So we'll do quick stops. But uh, before that, batiin muna natin lahat. So yeah, something something na ituturo ko sa inyo. Only times five lang po ba? Uh, oh, let me just say this, no? This works sa marami pang ibang situations. But times five lang muna yung focus natin today. Kasi I'll show you later kung gaano siya kahandi. Like some people would say na, okay, hindi naman siya nakakatulong kasi times five lang naman yan. Eh. Pero the more you practice, the more creative you can get. Ayan, katulad yan, meron tayo from TikTok saying times 99 dapat. Honestly, kung ito times 99 ninyo, all you have to do is to multiply it by 100 and subtract it ng dun sa sagot. Yeah. You can be really, really fast din doon. Okay, anyway, so let's uh, jump right into the breakdown. So, the first step is to divide the number by 2. So, again, kung ano man yung number na gusto nyo i-multiply by 5, you divide the number by 2. Okay? So, for example, let's start with a smaller number. Okay? Kunyari, uh, 32. Okay? Kung 32 times 5, and I have to divide the number by 2, anong gagawin ko? Yung 32, magiging 16. Okay? 16. Yan na. Itatabi na natin yung 16. Okay? So, 32 divided by 2 is 16. Tapos, ang next step, step number 2, we're going to multiply it by 10. So, yung 16 kanina, times 10, lalagyan ko lang siya ng 0 sa dulo. So, the answer is 160. 32 times 5 is equal to 160. Okay? Now, ang masaya dyan, if mumultiply ko siya sa 6, ladagdagan ko lang siya ng isa pang 32, so that is 192. Alam niyo meron akong confession to make. And I don't say this para gawin yung dahilan, ha? Or gawin yung excuse. Pero, you know, I never really memorized the multiplication table. Uh, mabilis na ako mag-add. And because meron akong technique sa times 5, yung sinimemorize ko yung times 5, I just add numbers. So, katulad ngayon, yung 32 times 6, lalagyan ko lang siya ng 160, lalagyan ko lang siya ng isa pang 32, 192. 
Kung lalagyan ko pa siya ng isa pang 32, that is 224, ganun ko lang siyang sinosolve. Okay? So, um, sabi ni Ronaline, how about two-digit multiplier? I have a video, how to multiply numbers quickly. Sa YouTube, pakihanap yun. Kasi, um, although gusto kong i-share yun sa inyo ngayon, I'm not sure if aabot siya sa time. So, yeah, I also have a technique kapag two digits na siya. So, parang split and solve din yung technique na yun. Lalo na kung kailangan mental math. Kasi nga, again, sa maraming mga exams, hindi pwede ang calculator and may oras din. Like, may limitations sa oras. So, yun yung danger kapag uh, nag-e-exam tayo. Um, yung civil service, service exam, like, a lot of people will say na mahirap yung test. One of the reasons why nahihirapan ang maraming tao sa civil service exam is because bawal ang calculator. Like, there are exams na pwede yung calculator. So, okay lang. Di ba kasi type mo lang, tapos yun yung sagot. Pero kapag wala ng calculator, paano na tayo? Di ba? Lalo na kung sanay na tayong gumamit ng calculator. So, it's very important for you to understand some of the techniques para hindi tayo ma-overwhelm kapag mag exam na tayo. Okay? So, again, step one, you have to divide it by two. Step two, multiply it by ten. And yes, interchangeable naman yun. Pwede nyo i-multiply muna sa 10 bago nyo i-divide sa 2. Okay? Now, quick quiz tayo. Okay, quick quiz muna tayo. Kasi yun ang tradisyon ng Team Laika. So, nilagay tayo ng quick quiz. Three items. Your turn. Solve these. You can type it sa comment section. Okay? And let us know kapag uh, nasagot nyo na. Yan, mag-aabang tayo kung sinong, sino ang pinakamabilis. Team TikTok. Team YouTube, eh, Team Facebook, or Team Kumu. Yan, all three, ha? Ayan, so may mga nagsasagot na sa, ano, nasagot na yung first one. Okay, dapat lahat, ha? Yan. I'll address lang yung comment ni Edson sa Facebook habang ano habang naghihintay tayo sa answer ng mga uh, teammates natin. Sabi niya, nung high school daw siya love niya yung math. Kaya lang, when I got to college, parang one way lang nakukuha ko ang problem. Pag nandyan si teacher, pero pag ako na lang, hindi ko na nakukuha. Mm. Sa quick quiz, nakukuha ko naman. Pero sa exam, doon na daw niya nakakalimutan. You know, I think one of the problems there possibly would be anxiety. Ibig sabihin, kinakabahan ka na or na-overwhelm ka. So, I would really suggest some relaxation techniques. Like, if you could do breathing exercises uh, to slow your brain down para hindi ka masyadong kabahan, that would be great. And of course, more practice. Kapag, honestly, kapag marami kayong practice, uh, you'll get faster and you'll get more confident. Uh, yun yung dalawang epekto niya. Again, speed and confidence. Which is, kailangan baon natin sa exam para hindi tayo masyadong kabahan. No? So, um, those are the things na muna sa suggest ko. Kasi, every case naman is different. Every person is different. But that's a good start. Okay? So, yan. May mga sagot na sila. Solve natin together. Let's see kung tama kayo. Tapos, tingnan natin kung sino yung mga, yung mga mga ka-perfect. Okay? So, again, it's divide by 2, multiply by 10. We can go left to right lang here. So, 6, 2, 4. 3, 1, 2, add 0. Okay, tama sila. So, Riz, Riz is tama sa Kumu, Chichi, Jonathan. Uh, and sagot pa rin Jonathan sa ibang number. STEM teacher, of course, naman, sir. Kapag hindi kayo... <laughs> you're, you're an, uh, and, and you're really fast, of course. Kasi, and mad respects for, respect for our teachers. Hi. Yeah. It's me, Jab. It's also correct sa TikTok. Uh, Cheryl, tama. Harley sa Facebook. Very good. Okay, so hindi ko kayo maisa-isa ha, pero congratulations. One point, one point. May dalawa pa, may dalawa pa. Five, six, eight times five naman. Okay, ito medyo, medyo tricky na ng kaunti kasi merong odd number. But dinemonstrate ko yan kanina yung first part. All we have to do is to divide this by two. We will go from five. Sa five, cash ang dalawa kasi magiging four yon. So two. Tapos, yung 4, di ba, ibabawas natin siya sa 5. Meron kang parang may iiwan na 1. Ang maganda naman pag divide ka sa 2, 1 lang lagi yung naiiwan. So, ang mangyayari, yung 16, eh, yung 6 magiging 16. Okay? So, 16 na lang siya. So, 16 divided by 2. So, 8, 16 divided by 2 is 8. Tapos, tapos ka na sa 5 and 6. You have 8 divided by 2, that is 4. Again, times 10, add 0. 
So, 118 naman tayo times 5, no? Again, sinagot din ni Nopix, eh. Mahabol si Nopix, no? 590. And a lot of you said 590. Galing. Okay. Marcelino says 590. Same thing, right? So, yung 1, yung iba nasa-shock na siya, parang, naku, 1 divided by 2 cannot be. But again, meron kang number sa tabi, eh. So, pagtatabihin mo lang sila. So, 11 divided by 2 is 5. Tapos may remainder ka na isa. Yung 1 na yun, iiwan mo ngayon dito. So, magiging 18. Yung pangalawang number. So, 9. And then, multiply it by 10. 5, 9, 0. Yan. So, yan yung sagot natin. 3, 1, 2, 0. 2, 8, 4, 0. And 5, 9, 0. Okay? Now, the next question would be, alam nyo na kasi yung technique, ba? Again, it's divide by 2, multiply by 10. Pero paano kung may odd numbers? Okay? So, dadagdagan natin ang konting challenge. Paano kung maraming odd numbers? Kasi yung kanina, medyo may halo eh. May even lang, may odd lang. Okay? Kasi baka yung iba, medyo na, na stress ng kaunti. Paano kung may odd numbers? Ibe-break down natin siya. Let's have a simple example. So, 5, 7, 2 times 5. Okay? So, again, you can write it down as yung vertical na 5, 7, 2 times 5. Isa-isahin natin from right to left. Or, yung ginagawa natin kanina, same thing lang din. Divide by 2, multiply by 5. But when you divide, kapag may mga odd numbers like this, parang ginawa natin kanina, let's start with 5 muna. 5 divided by 2 is, is, is going to give us 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, may remainder ka na isa. So, yung 1, ikakabit natin dun sa next number. Magiging 17 siya instead of just 7. Okay? Ganun lang gagawin natin kapag may mga odd numbers. Okay? 17 divided by 2, syempre may remainder uli. Kasi 16 ang pinakamalapit eh. Yung 16 is going to give us 8. Okay? Tapos, yung remainder na yon na isa rin uli, iba, ikakabit uli natin sa katabing number. So, magiging 12 na naman siya instead of just 2. So, that is going to give us... 6. Okay? And then, mumultiply natin sa 10, 2, 2, 8, 6, 0. Okay? So, madali. Okay? Again, left to right, ingat sa mga i-carry or ingat dun sa mga remainder na kailangan mo ikabit sa katabi. Kasi dun na, nag, dun na papapasok yung kapag nagkamali tayo, it's usually, um, ano ba? Careless mistakes, kind of. Yung parang hindi natin napansin na mali pala yun. Okay, yun yung iniiwasan natin. Okay? So, yan. Now, next question. Level up again. Paano kung odd digit lahat? As in, odd din yung last digit. Which I know some of you already asked. So, Jovi sa TikTok asked that. Paano kung lahat odd numbers? Or yung lahat even, pero yung dulo odd? Kasi kanina lahat, ina-add lang natin yung zero eh. Dito na papasok yung idea na, again, it's about dividing it by 2 and multiplying it by 10. Now, the trick is, kapag meron kang odd number sa dulo, nagkakaroon ng either remainder 1 or yung dulong number nagiging 0.5. Let me give you an example. So, 285 times 5. Okay? 285 times 5, kung isosolve ko siya, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, kung i-divide ko lang muna siya sa, sa 5, eh, divide ko lang siya sa 2, divided by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Walang problema doon. Okay, so 1 pa rin. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Wala rin problema doon. Okay? Dito na magkakaroon ng kaunting uh, problema sa so 5. Eh, yun pa naman yung last digit, no? 5 divided by 2 is going to give us 2. Tapos again, may remainder 1 eh. Okay? Now, kung i-decimal ko yan... Yung, yung remainder 1 na yan, i-divide ko ulit sa 2, that is actually going to give us 142.5. Ngayon, eh coach, kailangan ko pa ba isulat yung 0.5? Actually, hindi na. Okay? Hindi nyo na kailangan isulat yung 0.5. Ang pwede nyo gawin would be, kapag may remainder 1 like this one here, instead of 0 ang idadagdag ninyo, kasi minultiply mo siya sa, sa 10, ang ilalagay nyo is 5. Okay? For, so, ang tama sagot is 1425. Again, Instead of 0, ang ilalagay ko number sa dulo is 5. Pag odd number. Or kung gusto nyo, i-multiply nyo ng buo, 142.5. Tapos pag times 10 ko kasi yan, igagalaw ko lang yung decimal place ng beses to the right. So the answer is going to be still 1425. Pareho lang sila. 
Okay? So whether gusto ninyo na i-multiply, eh, na i-gawing decimal siya, or kung gusto niyo na lang tandaan na, okay, kapag may remainder 1, I just add 5 instead of, instead of 0. Di ba? Pareho naman yung sagot. Again, two options, ha? You can remember na, okay, may tirang isa, I put 5 instead of 0, or I divide it in full, so it will be 1 for 2.5, and then I multiply it by 10, so magiging 1,425 siya. Yan, may tanong si Kogi Pollux. Great question. Pa possible po ba na 28 na lang ang i-divide sa 2 tapos 5 times 5? Yes, pwede rin. Okay, that's another and that's another thing that you could consider. Kasi ikakabit mo lang naman siya. Kasi nga again, but the thing is again, it will only work for this situation kasi times 5 siya. Okay? Um and because because yung first part is yun yung gagawin mo. Parang basically ang ginawa lang ni Polox is hiniwalay niya yung hundreds at tens digits sinolve niya nang hiwalay, tapos dinagdag niya yung 5 times 5. Pwede 'yon. Okay, it will be the same answer. And that's the thing, di ba? Yun yung beauty niya ni Polox eh. Kapag iba yung iba yung uh, yung method mo, hindi necessarily ibig sabihin niya mali. Pwedeng pareho pa rin yung sagot. Ah, uh, question din si no picks. What if one yung dulo? Let's let's try it out, ha? Okay? Nandiyan lang. Isi strike ko lang yung aking para may space ako. Yan. Palitan natin to. So instead of 571, eh 572, gawin natin siyang 571. Okay, so 571 times 5. Okay, anong gagawin ko dyan? Same thing. 5 divided by 2 muna tayo. Divided by 2 is 2. May remainder kang isa, magiging 17 tong katabi. So that would be 8. 16 yon. Matitira yung isa dito sa 11. So magiging 5. Okay? Tapos, dahil merong remainder na isa, Magiging 5 siya. Okay? Now, paano naman kung hindi magiging 11 yung sa dulo? Now, ang tanong would be, ilan ba yung 1 divided by 2? Ilang 2 ang kasya sa isang 1? Di ba wala? So, magiging 0 siya. Tapos, i-carry mo siya sa kabilang side. Okay? Let me give you another a separate example. Instead of 5, 7, 1, let's do 5, 2, 1. Okay? 5, 2, 1 times 5. So again, we'll go from 5 muna. 5 divided by 2 is 2. Tapos yung remainder na isa magiging 12 itong katabi. So that would be 6. Tapos 1 na lang siya, di ba? So yung 1 na yan, divided by 2, walang kasya dyan. Wala. So 0. Okay? Tapos, dahil yung 1 na yan matitira pa rin siya sa dulo, what we could do would be, kagawin lang natin siyang 5 sa dulo instead. Okay? What if unahin lang po i-multiply yung 5? Yes, pwede rin yun. Again, you can do that. Kasi kung gagawin ninyo yung 5, 2, 1, 0, kasi yan yung 10 eh, di ba? Divided by 2, it's still going to give you 2, 6, 0, 5. Pareho lang yun. Okay? So in many ways, you can think of it nga as one of the proofs kung bakit when it comes to PEMDAS, unless specifically trick question siya, as in ginawa siyang convoluted question siya para mag-iba yung sagot. Dapat ideally pareho yung sagot. Kaya magkapareho yung level ng multiplication tsaka division at addition at subtraction sa PEMDAS. Kasi again, kahit na uli, uli, unahin ko yung multiplication, division, division, multiplication, kung horizontal yung solving ko, ideally dapat pareho lang yung sagot. So yung times 5, Eh, times 5, which ang ginagawa natin is divided by 2 times 10. Kung gagawin mo na, divide, eh, na times 10 divided by 2, di ba? Pareho lang dapat yung sagot. Okay? Sige, game. Try natin ha. So, ibang quiz naman. Medyo mas challenging. Okay, ihanda ang mga papel. <laughs> ihanda ang thumbs na magta-type ng sagot. Unahan na lang uli. Tingnan natin. Ito yung ating quiz. This time, pagpasamasamahin na natin lahat. So, yung technique kanina sa kung pare-pareho silang ang even numbers, paano kung may odd number doon sa simula, paano kung odd number yung sa dulo. Let's do this. Okay? So, paano kung odd ang last digit? Na solve na natin yung kanina. Dito tayo. Yan. So, tatlo uli sila. So, unahan tayo. Type natin yung sagot. 
Am I nagre-request ng Filipino? Filipino naman po. Honestly, hindi ako masyadong confident na turuan kayo ng Filipino. Kasi number one, bulol ako. Number two, isa sa mga lowest scores ko, uh, ang Filipino. Nakabawi lang ako sa Filipino nung naging literatura na siya. Kasi I love literature. Pero yung balarila, yung mga pang-abay, pandiwa, yan. Iimbitahan ko yung nanay ko na mag-guest teach kasi si Mama G ang magaling sa Filipino. <laughs> Pero hindi ako masyadong magaling sa Filipino. So ako, I, I just try my best. Pero hindi hindi talaga ako masyadong magaling doon. Okay, so yan, may mga sagot na sila. And 4620, 8645. Aba, yan na, may mga 5 na sa dulo. So again, it will get a little bit trickier the more we go along. Yeah, may nag-request ng factoring sa math. Meron na tayong factoring videos on TikTok and on YouTube. Pakihanap na lang. Okay. So, again, one of my goals is to build a library of content. So, across platforms. Kaya kung may nahanap kayo na topic uh, na gusto yung i-request, ang first tip ko, again, lagi, hanap bago hingi. Ibig sabihin, uh, we can scroll, we can, we can search. Tingnan natin kung meron ng video. Kasi some of the videos that you request that I make, meron na tayo. Okay? So, para makapagsimula na kayo right away. So, again, let's solve it together. Okay? So, divided by 2 times 10. Divided by 2 times 10. Ganun lang lahat. Okay? Sa so, times 5. So, we're going to go from left to right. So, 9 to 4. Let's start tayo sa 9. 9 divided by 2 is going to give us 4. Kasi 8 yun. Tapos may remainder ka na isa. So, yung 1, ikakabit natin dun sa 2. Magiging 6 yan. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Tapos tapos na tayo dun. Yung 4, magiging divided by 2, 2. Tapos, again, dahil wala nang ibang digit at hindi siya odd number sa dulo, ang dadagdag natin, 0, kasi times 10. 4, 6, 2, 0. Tama kayo? Tama, tama? Kompleto pa, kompleto. Okay. Next, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. 6, 7, 3. 6 muna. 6 divided by 2 is 3, first digit. 7 divided by 2 is also 3, pero may tira ka ng isa or may sukli kang isa. Ikakabit natin dun sa kataming 3, sa 13. 13 divided by 2 is 6, remainder 1. Okay, kasi odd number yung 3. So again, pwede mong gawing 0.5 times 10. So yung 5 yung mangyari sa dulo. Or tandaan na lang natin kapag may remainder 1, instead of adding 0, I add 5. So that is your answer. Tama ba? Tama? Tama pa kayo? Tama ba? Okay. Kayang-kaya, kayang-kaya. Alright. Now, next. Uh, Queen Angel Berry, salamat ulit sa mga pag-gifts. Uh, salamat sa inyong lahat who are sending gifts. Dito tayo sa next, sa next one. 5, 3, 9 times 5. 5 muna. 5 divided by 2 is 2. Tapos may tira kang isa. May remainder na isa. That one, you can put here, tabi, ng 3. So that will be 13 divided by 2 is 6. May isa pang sukli. Okay, so ilalagay mo siya dito. 19 na siya. That would be 9. May remainder ka na isa. So instead of putting 0, you put 5. Okay lang yan. Again, it's a, it's a technique. Eh. So um, it's just us having fun with math. Again, one of the myths that I want to break down, yung strike down, would be um, how people think na ang math and creativity can go together. In many ways, and I think Bea would also agree, Ang photography is also math. <laughs> like when you talk about your ISO and your uh, your f-stop, math din siya in many ways. So, ang math hindi kayo lulubayan yan. Kahit sa creative work, okay? Kahit pag nagka-calculate kayo ng dimensions mula PowerPoint presentation ninyo hanggang video ninyo, all of these decimals, fractions, yung ideas na yan, hahaburin kayo sa totoong buhay niyan. So, it's really great if you Remove the fear. Yun yung goal natin eh. In many ways, the reason why I teach speed math techniques is to convince you to fall in love with math. Because math loves you. Okay? Walang, hindi, hindi galit ang math sa inyo. Okay? Kayang-kaya niya siya if you just give yourself a chance. Okay? Give yourself a chance to uh, unlearn yung habits natin na parang inisip natin, ay, basta math, I can't figure it out. But math is just for... Sometimes the boys, no? When I was younger, I had a teacher who said that, eh, na you'll never be as good as, as the, bo the boys in this class. Kasi yung mga boys yung magagaling sa math. Tapos parang ako, so yeah, I'll prove you wrong. Parang ganun. So all of these things, mga myths na inisip natin, dapat, ano natin siya, huwag natin siya paniniwalaan. Huwag natin sila kakapitan. Okay? 
game. Now, why does this work? Okay, let's take it a step higher. Now, bakit ko to i-explain? When I was younger, and uh, I, I love her to death, no? I had a teacher, si Ma'am Lilia Paragas. Siya talaga yung nag-encourage akin na gamitin tong technique na ito. So, math teacher ko siya ng elementary. Tapos, pinakita ko sa class kasi. So, in-explain, nag ako na hand. Ma'am, there's a, a faster way to solve this. O, di ba? Ang yabang ni ate girl. Hindi naman yabang, no? Pero excited kasi ako eh. Gusto ko i-share sa buong class. Sabi ko, baka makatulong sa kanila to. So, nag ako na hand. Sabi ko, ma'am, mas mabilis kung ganito yung gagawin. So, dinamonstrate ko siya sa class. Itong technique na to. But, syempre, I didn't have the, ano ba, the nuances and the right words to say it. Sobrang excited ko. So, shinare ko. Kasi mga classmates ko, which, again, understandable to, kasi they already learned how to multiply numbers from right to left. Sabi nila, ano ba yan? Ang gulo-gulo. <laughs> Masyadong complicated. Mas lalo mong pinahirapan. Which is something na narinig ko pa rin sa people until now. Madali lang yun eh. Ba't pinapahirapan mo pa? When you have techniques, no? And then my 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 teacher, si Ma'am Lilia, uh, she set me aside. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, sige, papayagan kita to use that technique. Ibig sabihin, hindi ako magsusulat ng solution sa sa paper ko. Hindi ako, uh, papayagan kita to use that technique if ma-explain mo sa akin. Parang test niya yata sa akin yun. If ma-explain mo sa akin why it works, bakit gumagana yung technique mo na yan dun sa times five? Diba? So in case na tatanungin, tatanungin kayo ng mga teacher ninyo or yung mga anak po ninyo ng uh, bakit nag-work yung technique na to sa times five, ito yung sagot. Okay? I'll show you. Bakit? Kasi, and ano to, preview dun din sa mga susunod pa nating mga discussions pagdating sa math. Alam ninyo ang math um, sometimes we think na it's fixed, it's one thing. Pero there are other ways to look at it. For example, ang addition, okay, if nag a ako ng 5, sa totoo lang, it's a lot like subtracting negative 5. Okay? Anong ibig sabihin dyan? Ha? Huh? Ma- yung plus 5 tsaka minus negative 5 pareho ba? Yes. Bakit? Kasi ano ang rule natin pagdating sa subtracting ng negative na integer? Di ba, papalitan natin yung operation at yung sign. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, ang plus 5 at minus negative 5 is the same. Okay? Yan. Yup daw. Sabi ni Jotan, nasaktayan, nasakyan. Kogi, nasaktayan, nasakyan. Oh, di ba? Pareho lang siya. Super Chen, thank you for the gifts. Chris, uh, Chris uh, thank you. Yan, pareho lang yun. Ito, here's another thing. Kapag nag-multiply ako, Okay. Nang one half, pareho lang siya pag dinivide ko siya sa two. Do you agree? Okay. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Four times one half, di ba? Isu- isusulat ko para mas visual yung representation. Four times one half, anong gagawin natin dyan? Di ba? Yung four maging four over one. Tapos yung four times one, sa numerators muna tayo, four times one is four. Over, 1 times 2 is 2. Ang sagot ay 2. Tama? Now, ang 4 divided by 2 is also 2. Pareho lang yun. Okay? Now, even that knowledge lang na okay, ah, ganun pala yun. So, so times 1 half is another way of writing divided by 2. Okay? Big sabihin, may mga ways na, ah, ganun lang pala yun, pareho lang pala yun. Okay? Pero iba yung pagkakasabi. Okay? And the more na, na embrace natin itong method ito, mas naiintindihan natin yung mga bagay na yon. Now, papasok na tayo dun sa bakit nag-work yung times 5 na divided by 2 times 10. Kung isusulat natin yung times 5, okay, sorry. Yeah, wait lang. <laughs> Nauna na yung aking ano, slide. Yan. Kung isusulat natin yung times 5, yan. Anong ginawa natin kanina? Nag-divide tayo sa 2. Ano yung divide by 2? Kanina sabi natin para rin siyang times 1 half. Right? Kasi ang divided by 2 is also, also times 1 half. Tapos, next na ginawa natin, times 10. Okay? Times 10. Diba? Ito yung dalawang steps natin. Step number one, times one half. Step number two, times ten. Now, if you notice, kung ang im- multiply ko lang ay itong dalawang ito, ang one half times ten, again, susolve lang natin, magiging ten over one ito, 
across na. So numerator, 1 times 10 is 10, over 2 times 1, which is 2. Makikita nyo na ba? So para siyang times 10 over 2. Now tanong, ano ba yung 10 over 2? 10 divided by 2 is 5. Balik tayo doon sa simula. Kaya siya nag-work. Kaya siya nag-work kasi yung times 5, I, another way of writing it is times 10 over 2. Okay? Kaya lang, nagkataon, mas madaling, again, mas madali na mag-divide sa 2, mas madali na mag-multiply sa 10. So, mas preferred natin, although 2 steps siya, mas mabilis siya sa times 5. Okay? Now, anong maganda dito? Sa maraming ibang numbers, you can think of it that way. For example, if you're multiplying a number by 15. Diba? Pag nag-multiply ako ng number by 15, two digits yun, magulo. Diba? Pero kung gagawin ko na imumultiply ko siya sa 30, tsaka ako siya i-divide sa 2, diba? Kasi ang 30 over 2 is still equal to 15. Tama? I can do that. Let me, let me demonstrate that, no? Yung sinasabi natin, no? Na, again, there are other ways of looking at things. Doon tayo doon sa times 15. Let's give me a number. Just a two-digit number para madali lang. Anyone? Anyone? Two-digit number? Unahan na lang para ma-shoutout ko kayo. <laughs> Ayan. 24 daw, sabi ni Irish. Okay, so 24 times 15. I'll show you multiple ways to solve this. Okay? Sabi natin kanina... Again, kung ang 15 is a lot like times 30 over 2, what we could do would be, i-divide ko rin siya sa 2, so that would give us 12 times 30. Now, mahirap ba yung times 30? Hindi, di ba? Kasi times 3 lang yun, tapos times 10 uli. So, 12 times 3 is 36, plus times 10 kasi, lalagay ko siya ng isa pang 0. So, ang 24 times 15 using this method is 360. Okay? So, divide and multiply tayo. Ganun yung type ng situation. Okay. Try natin kung gagamitin ko yung uh, split and solve. Ano ibig sabihin nun? 24 times 15. This is another method that I taught sa YouTube so you can find it. How to multiply numbers fast. Um, Harapin nyo na sa YouTube channel natin sa Team Laika. Yung 15, pwede ko siyang i-split into 10 and 5. Okay, bakit? Kasi 10 plus 5 is 15. So, ang gagawin ko lang, 24 times 10, kung mabilis ka mag-add, ginagamit ko rin to for a lot of other numbers, you have 240. Tapos, yung 15 times 5, may technique tayo kanina, right? 15 times 5, i-divide ko lang siya sa 2, so magiging 7, plus, dahil odd number siya, 5 sa dulo, ay, sorry, sorry. 24 divide, divide ko lang siya sa 2. Yung 15 ang dinivide ko, dapat yung 12. Eh, yung, yung 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Plus another 0. Oh, diba? Kasi, ano nga, divided by 2 times 10. So, this is also 360, right? Pareho rin siya dun sa kanina. So, an, tapos, syempre, yung ating traditional method. 24 times 15. Okay, ito na yung medyo mas tedious ng konti kasi mag dalawang layers to eh. 4 times 5 is 20. Magay ko dito, 2 times 5 is 10, 12, 1, 4 times 1 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, 3, 60. But again, pare-pareho sila ng sagot. Okay? So, ano ba ang, ang goal natin dito? Ang goal natin dito, ang goal ko dito is to, to let you know that math shouldn't be feared. So, okay matatakot sa math. Yeah, so math is fun. Math is a creative way of looking at things. Minsan lang, I think there's I think there's no problem with math. There can be a problem when it comes to math instruction. Ano ibig sabihin? The way that we are taught math or that the way that we learn math. Sometimes we think that it's like a strict list of rules to follow when in fact if you want to fall in love with math, yung lahat ng intricacies niya, lahat ng new things to learn, Part siya nung process na yun. 
All right, so thank you for watching till the end of this video. If you want to learn more, if you want to watch the other videos I'm going to be making, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Turn your notifications for all the updates that we have. Again, we're going to talk about what's soon. And uh, thank you for joining the team. I know this community has been kind to me for the past six years now. And I'm so happy that I get to welcome you as part of this team as well. Thanks, guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.